crazy happens and then <laughs> it's like actually D just hit everything that need to hit and somehow he, he won. <laughs> So somehow, I don't know. Yeah. He's he, he, Riley's very good with DD. I feel like if you're doing well with DD and online at this point, you've already fought the worst it could get. Like you, you've done, you've gone through all the the, the crazy matchups and the terrible matchups at this point. Yeah. There's there's a lot of crazy things you have to go through as a DD main here, but if anybody has been through a lot here, it has been Ape it, man. 83% here on O'Reilly. Wiley looking for an opportunity to go for an inhale, but Ape Man is not going to give him the opportunity, but unfortunately goes for a jump. Great opportunity for him yeah. to always use the top man to kind of buy himself time to come back on the stage. Either forces out a shield, forces out movement, you name it, man. It's definitely one of those things that help, that help Rob come back to the stage and hold the neutral as well. Yeah. For Dave in this matchup, something that's really important, obviously, is inhale, just because he can uh, reflect the projectiles of Rob right back at his at his face instead of just getting locked down by Gordo and sorry Gyro and Laser all the time. Of course, you know, um, Ape Man also can react to that by you know timing his projectiles differently. But that's something we're gonna have to see a lot from Riley just so he can play neutral a little bit more. Otherwise, like I said, he, he's gonna continuously uh, get locked down by these projectiles. We saw again trying to use the Gordo in neutral is get hit back in his face from a Rob's projectile of his own. Oh, no no inhale snipe this time. Well, wow, even just nearing from the ledge, just hits the Gordo right back in his face. Oh, not enough. That was good DI for me, and then it went straight to the corner. Oh, what a catch here with the up air. Riley not dead yet. He is such a big, big hurt box, but also a huge weight he can still survive here. And he finally gets Ape Man to lose the stock here. Riley is on the receiving end, though. He's literally at 126. He can lose the stock if Ape Man gets the opportunity. Top has started. I'm sorry, stopped spinning. Yeah. Still, so, again, he's gotten 66% just from reflecting the Gordo back in Ape Man's face. He, he's going to uh, drop that stock first, but. I'm just trying to like emphasize how important it is to use that move in this matchup. He's gotten a lot of reward from that. Can you actually get this jet hammer to hit? No, no. I actually, I actually <laughs> think it, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Riley the benefit of the doubt. It's not that he can't hit it. It's just that Ape Man knows too well about it. <laughs> like you can tell, he has all the tools in his cards to just survive that. He doesn't have to even go back on the stage if he doesn't want to have to face jet hammer. So. It's noble of Riley to go for that, but Ape Man knows. I don't have to touch the ground if I don't want to. And we're an excellent Ooh, back here. Speaking of touching the ground, man, he immediately put this man up into the sky and he put the jack boosts into the face. Ape Man taking game one. Yeah, really good stuff from Ape Man. Yeah, he was getting tripped up by the inhale reflex a little bit, but for the most part, he's playing the matchup really well. Like, he's not getting hit by it too many of the DD gimmicks just yeah. playing how it needs to be played if you guys are in chat uh who will win this set man I'm looking like 8-bit man with 84 percent and riley with a 16 <laughs> percent it's respectable i mean like i said dude it's it's not it's not riley that's you know it's 8-bit man it's one of the players who definitely have one of the most times playing this game all the way from brawl he's been a veteran of the wi-fi seen but also a player of the offline space so he's kind of been and done that you know it's kind of why he understands the character like i don't have to land against jet hammer i can just stay up here toss everything i can and then when you're done i'll come back and i'll punish you for it even when i'm off stage i think really i think jet hammer is really good but it also largely depends on um you're spacing out the ledge to hit it, and your opponent's choice of like how long they stay at the ledge and their their spot at the ledge to yeah. actually get caught by that. Like Avery Man's actually not staying at the ledge really long time, and he's not ch challenging the armor of the uh, Jet Hammer at all. Yeah, when we think about Jet Hammer for DD, it is the ultimate conditioning tool, right? Like once you have finally conditioned your opponent, it is the big ice cream cherry on the top punish that you can get onto your opponent because they have so much fear of how you've been playing but also of getting hit by jet hammer they have ultimately fallen into it when you look at Aven man 
He's got all the tools to avoid not only just the Jet Hammer, but to continuously wall out DDD and force him into a lot of options. And then it's not just yeah. his projectiles at times. Rob's down tilt is just good enough as well. It's one of the best boxing tools in the game. Yeah. So far, we haven't seen much of the down tilt, though. I oh, there Speak of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of times, though, Avery Man is comfortable uh, just playing that mid range against DV, not really just forcing the approach. Unless Yo. he can get like, determined to it. But nice. There's that uh, arm rotor, man. The last He's hit, man. Oh, so active at the ledge, dude. Like, sometimes I think they're just throwing it out, but it's like, no, like, this move lasts so long that you're going to eventually have to recover into it or yeah. just, like, stay on stage. And then the last hit is just so strong. Another upper, yeah, DDD with that huge hurt box, gave him and missing the opportunity to go for the laser, but he's still coming back on the stage. Able to go for the alarm mortal landing. What a good call up, too, because he sees that Riley is going for a dash dance. What's he gonna do? Set up Gordo. So if he goes for the arm rotor, he can reflect the Gordo as well and then still do damage to DD. And he's got a regularly good setup with the forward smash after the top, man. Ape Man is pointing out all the stops. Yeah. He didn't even have to rely on the gyro last uh, ledge traps in the last game, but now that he's starting to do a little bit more, it's getting kind of rough for Riley at the ledge. He does take that stock, though, fortunately for him, but yeah. The, the gyro and especially for his big characters, it's just so difficult for them to avoid that. Nice use of the up air though. It's probably the best thing you can do because I think it destroys the gyro if he can uh, get that up air to work. And it can still poke through the ledge and like, make a little bit of a hitbox there. Okay, nice Z drop into the Nair Fair. Good percent for Riley. Oh, he got tagged by the gyro again. He like lost the ledge trap he could have set up for himself. And then he's just gonna drop that stock there. It's rough. Oh, tough call out. Ape Man getting hit with the back air, of course. Riley with an opportunity to just call. Oh no, he's kind of caught in the small infinite from the assist of the top. Gyro is such a yeah. really good tool to control the neutral, but also a really good tool to give Ape Robs opportunities to go for little things like that. Yeah, I love seeing the uh, down tilts into the gyro. Like you're in between both of them and you just <laughs> you're stuck there. Especially a huge character like Didi. It's so hard to avoid that. But, I think Ape Man takes advantage of the fact that DD is such a huge hurt box. Like, it's good enough to hit him with the back air on the landing. I'm not getting the laser strike. Still living, though. Oh! No, he hit him out of his up B. He didn't even let him get the slam down Last animation. Last hit of oh. Carol, yeah, oh. it's like robo arms. Damn. Not even the armor of the, uh, the up B is enough to get past that move. Now, armor. It it's didn't good, matter at all. Yeah, it's good for Ape Man to actually challenge that. Yeah. I think the multi-hit of the move is just like, okay, I'm going to hit him out of this because his armor doesn't last the whole time, I don't think. What? Trade combo. I don't know. There's a lot of things happening in this game. <laughs> a lot of things. Unfortunately, a lot of these things are really bad for Riley. He did. He definitely did much better this game, though. It's just still he can't really hold on to a lead, and when he does try to make the comeback, the AV Man doesn't let it uh, doesn't let it happen easily at all. <laughs> as he shouldn't, man. Hold on to the stage. Hold on to the the edge. Do as much as you can. You don't want your punt to come back on the stage, especially if it's King DDD out of all the characters. Right, well, potentially the last game between these two here in winter semis. Will Ape Man be walking with a, away with a 3-0 or does Riley have anything to say about that? Maybe possibly putting a point on the board? We'll see. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I, like I said, uh, Riley's been getting closer each game, so if there's any game where he can potentially take a game off of Ape Man, it's here. Of course, like, he has to since, you know, <laughs> it's uh, best of five. Okay. Oh, I just like that uh, Rob, when he's getting pressured by the gyro, or sorry, the gordo at the ledge, he can just get off the ledge, shoot a gyro at the gordo, hit it back at DD, and then he's he's safe again. 
Not yeah. a lot of characters can do something like that. So like one of, one of uh, D's biggest strength is uh, not being able to be abused as heavily as usual. But deep forward air from Riley, catching that exploitable recovery of Rob off stage. And this is the first time he's had a stock lead. If I'm Riley, I will try to abuse this as much as possible. Going for it all with the down air spike. This guy, he, he's a brave man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would not want to get reversed in that situation. I don't think anybody would, man. But he's either brave or foolish. But definitely good for going here. Of course, that will confirm to us. Uh, it's good for Ape Man to understand that because DD is such a huge hurt box, Up Smash is just a better confirm overall versus Up Air. Yeah, well, he just saw that Riley didn't even attempt to mash out anyway, so he just did the up smash. You kind of have to break your controller, but you can definitely like, get out of that uh, down through really quick. Yeah. If you, mash if you can mash buttons, man, you can mash that control stick. That's all I'm saying, man. Get out of those burials. <sighs> Caught him in the middle of the, the roll. Good for Ape Man, though. He wanted to take advantage of the, uh, the inhale and try to get behind him. Oh, oh, he spot dodged. I don't know if that was intentional. It looked like he was trying to wait out this uh, get up attack to get it out of shield punch. Oh, the gyro. Once oh. again, yep. What a clean play. Oh. What a clean play. And then Riley was so scared of it, too, because he saw how it hit him at the first time and he wanted to get away. But in that process, it led Ape Man to get another confirm and then into the up smash. What a clean Dude, opportunity for I don't Ape think Man. I've. There's very few times I've seen Ape Man drop the opportunity to get that on DDD. Like, every time he has an opportunity to just trap him in between the down tilts and the Gordo, like, he's gonna go for it. But. Forward air? Yep. Double forward air here for the corner carry. What a big play from Ape Man. 68% onto Riley as well. It goes for the gyro. Just a little bit of pressure here. If Riley is gonna back off, he has to work with the gyro in play. Down there? What a call out. What a call out because he knows he exhausted every single option and he had led him to go for the opportunity where he thought it was safe to go for up B and Ape Man finishes it off with a 3 0 and the down air. I couldn't even, I couldn't even tell if that hit him out when his armor ended or if Riley like held down and got hit. 